to play Bob Marley's Waiting in Vain, how to develop your ear and improvise over the song, then this is the video for you. subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll always be updated when a new video has been uploaded. Okay, let's get started. This video is for intermediate players because although I'll be showing you how to play the song, some of it you're going to be working out yourself, okay? This song is in the key of F major. So you need to know how to play the scale. Now if you already know how to play it, that's cool. You can skip this bit, but I strongly recommend that you go over it if you don't remember how to play it, because it's going to help you hugely how to play the song off by heart. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to start learning things off by heart and not rely on the music. Although the notes will always be on the screen, you'll have the notation, you'll have the letters and you have the soul far as well. Okay, so you can follow that. If you can learn it off by heart, that's really good because it will really help to develop your ear, okay? Okay, so here's the first note, F. Take your finger off to get your G, three fingers on. Then take your finger off to get your A. Now keep your A fingers on and you're going to hit your palm key here, this one right here. Hold that down. That's your B flat, okay? Then you're going to go C, as you see. Then you're going to go hit your octave key and all fingers on, and that's your D. Take that finger off, that's your E, and that's your F. I'm going to play the scale twice. The first time I'll play it, I'll play it slowly. And then the second time, I'll play it twice as fast. Okay? And I want you to actually play along with me if you can. All right? But if you need to pause the video and practice it, you go ahead and do that. No worries. Okay. Let's play that together with a drum beat. turn your turn okay but I'll prompt you into play Now it's your turn. Now 
listen to me do the whole of the phrase. <laughs> because it's more or less the same thing with a few differences but you can add things and take things away as you want when you listen to me play it you'll see what I mean okay so I'm just going to do a very simple version of this first part four C's two B flats and a C C C C C B flat B flat C let's do that again C C C C B flat B flat C okay Sounds like this. Okay, so I'll do that and then you're going to copy me. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Great stuff. Okay, next part. Two A's. G, F, A, G. A, A, G, F, A, G. I'll do that again. A, A, G, F, A, G. A, A, G, F, A, G. Sounds like this. I'll do that again. Now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. Great stuff. Now for the next line, you've got your C, then you go to your octave D, then back to your C, and then a straight run down A G F. So C, D, C, A, G, F. Now I'm singing it quite straight, but you can change the rhythm as you like. C, D, C, A, G, F. It sounds like this. I'll stand up for this one. So I'm going to play it straight and you're going to copy me straight. My turn again. Sound 
sound better. Or. on that A. That's the strong note. And the others are very quiet. Okay. And then you repeat the other line as before. And the rest of it's more or less the same. fingers on, your little finger to your E flat and back to your D. Like this. G. 
Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Great stuff. Then you repeat the first line again. D, C, A, C. And then the last one, you have to go up to your F with the octave key. Do that again. So that is C, F, E, D, C, D, F. C, F, E, D, C, D, F. And again, you can change the rhythm. around a bit and there may be a few little bits that you hear and you'd like to know how to play it now you really should be working out how to do it yourself but there's one iconic bit that I just want to show you because it sounds so good it's the bit where he sings ooh girl ooh girl okay and that's just D C A D C A I'll do it again D C A D C A Sounds like this. And the next bit, A, A, G, F, A, you know that already. Then it goes down to a low D to an F. D, F, G, A, G, D, F, G, A, G, D, F, G, A, G. Sounds like this. <laughs> So, you might want to practice that bit. I'll do it again. And again, you can add your little embellishments like this. So the final part of the song that I want to show you is the very end. And if you know the song, it's where he sings, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait in vain. And it's not that difficult actually because you're repeating a lot of notes. So four G's. 4 G's again, 4 G's again, then 4 A's, then 4 F's, and then an F G F. Why don't we do this together, okay? G G G G G G G G G G G G A A A A F F F F F G F. I'll play it for you. Now that's very slow, and we're going to do it slowly together, okay? After four. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. sound good but if you're an in intermediate player you should already know how to tongue however it can still be quite a challenge so if you find it hard to do just play every other note and it can still sound good 
like this. <laughs> Now, remember that F major scale? The F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E and F. Well, if you take out the fourth note, which is the B flat, and you take out the seventh note, which is the E, you're left with five notes. F, G, A, C and D. Five notes. And that's known as a pentatonic scale pentatonic scale and as it starts and ends on an F it's the F major pentatonic scale pent pent means five like a pentagon okay so why do you need to know that well if you use your pentatonic scale to improvise it makes it very very easy and it's an easy scale to play I'll show you how to do it and I'll show you what it sounds like when you're improvising okay I'll do that again. Now, I'm going to play the scale up and down like I'm improvising. Just play the notes randomly and you can hear what it sounds like, along with the drum beat. So how you want to play it is how you want to play it. But what you should do is listen to other people play it. So there's a link down below if you want to hear me play it and at the end of this video. And I've also added some other links of other YouTube players. And I've also left a link for the best backing track that you can play this against. Now, if it's too fast for you and you need to slow it down, make sure that you use the facilities on YouTube where you can slow it down and it will still be in the same pitch and you can play along. And just rewind any part of this video that you need to, to work on it yourself. Okay? Right, now, remember, the best way to keep track of your practice is to film yourself. So why don't you film yourself? And you can just film yourself on your phone. And if you've got your own YouTube channel, you can upload it. And why don't you share it so I can see it? Oh, almost forgot. If you want the music, there's a description down below as to how you can get the music, okay? So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please like it. Share it as well. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, see you soon. Bye!